Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing a gameplay with the brand new Dark Matter Token Reward, Dikembe Mutombo. This is the Dark Matter Token Reward for Season 6. You only have to unlock one Galaxy Opal Token Player to unlock the Dark Matter Token Rewards. So if you haven't unlocked those rewards yet, just redeem one Galaxy Opal, and it's going to be a thousand tokens per Dark Matter. Your other option is Thorough Bailey, who came out last season. But we're going to be doing gameplay today with the brand new Dikembe, just to see how good he is and if he is worth picking up for your squad before we hop into the video if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 4,000 subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day we really appreciate your support if you haven't already if you do subscribe uh without further ado let's hop right into it let's not waste any time let's see what dikembe is looking like so excuse me dikembe is a seven foot two center so he's got incredible size 99 offense 99 defense coming with an 89 driving lip 88 mid-range 85 three-pointer 95 standing and driving dunk uh, 69 ball handle so he's not gonna be much of a ball handler at all but 98 block 90 steel 90 perimeter and 97 interior defense is really good the 58 steel that annoys me that should be at least in the 80s i feel like because that means he's going to deflect the ball a lot more than he's going to catch those steals which is definitely annoying but he is an elite rebounder as well has good speed with an 87 speed and excel which is fine for a center 80 speed of ball is also fine he's not really gonna be handling the ball much anyways and 90 lateral quickness as well is very good then you look at his tendencies dunk tendencies are a 90 85 uh and then defensive tendencies are looking pretty darn good 99 contestant block shot tendency is absolutely phenomenal uh defensively this card is going to be a menace 27 hops include catch and shoot corner specialist brick wall postman technician drop stepper put back boss room protector chase down box clamps defensive leader interceptor intimidator poke specialist posterizer rebound chaser pogo stick post lockdown tireless defender worm back down punisher downhill dream shake set shooter quick first step menace and hustle so a lot of good hall of fame badges there including a ton on the defensive end also 22 golds include fearless finisher lob city glue hands pickpocket pick dodger rise up pro touch bailout sniper green machine hot and hunter unstrippable mouse and house bullet passer ankle braces gray sweater pressure fast twitch and ball stripper so badge wise in terms of badge you're going to want to add to him definitely going to want to give him the shooting badges like a blinders like a limitless spot up um something like maybe a uh, definitely probably unpluggable if you want to handle the ball with him a little bit but then also dead eye um so there's not a ton of badges to add to him maybe limitless takeoff as well but i would add a few just to complete make him as complete as possible all right hopping into freestyle let's see how dikembe moves the problem with him is the fact that he has that 69 ball handle so he's not really going to be a ball handler but he does have half quick first step and fundamental dribble style so he can at least create a little bit off of certain dribble moves and stuff as y'all can also see his play player model is incredible and he has the same release that he had earlier this year except it is now on very quick so it's not as slow as it was that being said i still don't see this as an elite release but when you do uh when you do add to the gold shooting badges and things like that to him he should be a pretty knockdown shooter i'm already green in shots with him pretty darn consistently it's a, it's a fine jumper it's not as good as a lot of the other big man jumpers in the game but it will get the job done off the pick and pop definitely not going to be over overly slow or anything like that uh, definitely should be a pretty makeable shot and he's going to be one of the best defenders in the game as well which does give him a lot of value the one flaw that honestly annoys me about this card is the low steal rating i think that's more annoying than him not having a great jump shot uh because the jumper isn't terrible he has fundamental dribble style kobe size up like he's he's going to be acceptable on the offensive end of the court uh in a lot of ways and he's going to be an elite defender as well but the low steal rating definitely is annoying because that means instead of catching those steals and things like that he's going to tip them a lot which is definitely going to be a, a bit of an annoyance but uh, if you can grain consistently with him he's definitely going to be very valid on the offensive of the court as well and as y'all can see with his player build being as big as it is he's going to be a great masher great slasher great rebounder all those things and overall should be a really good card so without further ado let's hop into unlimited or i'm sorry let's hop into a game a clutch time game and let's see what dikembe can do all right hopping into our first offensive possession let's see if we can get a stop with the or get a bucket with dikembe first possession good move yes sir hit dikembe on the pop um let's see if we can get to the post i don't want to pick up have to, i don't want to be forced to pick up my dribble okay this is this is not going well we're gonna shoot a post fade dikembe knock it down no that was that was a bad offensive possession i'm not gonna lie i got definitely boxed up more than i anticipated being uh boxed I don't know what I'm doing on the on the defensive end either right now to start off this game. Not not our greatest start, but that being said, Dikembe is going to get me a stop. Yes, sir. Nice little heavy contest on that. We will take that. I do apologize, by the way. If y'all can hear background music, I'm sorry, background noise, it's because my neighbors are getting their uh, yard cleaned currently, or mowed, I should say, and it's kind of loud. So if y'all can hear that, I do apologize, but Dikembe goes to the rim, lays it in, and we are currently up 2-0. to zero. It's going to stop. Good D, Harden. 
that noise is really annoying. I'm sorry. Hopefully it's not too loud in the video, but uh, it definitely is a little bit annoying. So I do apologize about that. Good defensive possession though. Let's go. Dikembe, get me a board. Okay, we'll take it. Cedric gets the board instead. That's fine though. Get Dikembe in a pick and pop. Let's see if we can get him a catch and shoot opportunities possession. Catch Dikembe from deep. I got a green. He doesn't have limitless added right now, so he's not going to be the greatest shooter in the world, but definitely got to green that open shot. And I think my opponent might actually be out of here. So if, if he quit, we'll take it. Honestly, can get into a triple threat game. And that is exactly what we are going to do. All right, hopping into triple threat. Let's see what we can do with Dikembe this game. I don't even know who he has matched up against Dikembe. I'm not sure who that is. Is that Jeremy Grant? I don't know. But either way, Dikembe wide open, catch and shoot. I don't green. It still goes down. We will take that. He's matched up against Scotty Barnes, so we're going to have to take advantage of that and mash a little bit as well. But let's see if we can get some stops. Good D, Mullen. Uh, get back. Good. Good defense. Yes, sir. I reached myself out to play. That is, that's my bad. I definitely should have had a steal there with Dikembe, but I reached myself out to play, and that's on me. Good defense. Yes, sir, Mullen. Good. Get through the screen. Beautiful. I like that. Great D, Mullen. Yes, sir. Good. Yep. Good defensive possession. This is a great defensive possession. If you think you're matching Dikembe, you got another thing coming as well. I'm not going to lie to you. Yes, sir. Good steal. Dikembe, go all the way in transition. Go up, and you don't get a good animation at all, and it's at 18%. I thought you were going to get a good animation. That's Scotty Barnes. He's not like this elite defender. Good defense, though. Yes, sir. There we go. I mean, Scotty is a good defender, but obviously not on the interior is more what I mean. Uh, get inside, though. Dikembe, pump fake. Ha oh, my goodness. Hop stepping. Land it in. I like that size out of Dikembe so far. Looking big and girthy. Wait, what? But anyways, Dikembe's open so far. Get Dikembe the ball and get it right back to Mullen. Pass, uh, pick and pop. Hit the pop. Dikembe catch and shoot. That's a mid-range. But you know what? We'll take it anyway. Easy green light. The release is solid. I mean, it's not great. It's definitely not as good as some of the other big man releases like a Kareem, like an artist, guys like that. But it'll definitely get the job done. Um, And that is at least what that's what you need out of a guy like Dikembe who's going to be that elite defender. We got to get a stop there. That's just bad defense by me. I can't, can't blame anybody but myself for the defense that I'm playing so far. But that being said, on the offensive end, Dikembe is doing his thing. Has all seven of our points right now. Another catch and shoot. Nope. No catch and shoot opportunity this time. Uh, let's see if we can get mashed, though. He's fouling again. Uh, not going to let me get inside and mash. That's twice now you've had that inside positioning, and then he has fouled me. So uh, let's see if we can get another pick and pop, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Got to figure something out. He doesn't set a screen. I don't know why you didn't set a screen, Dikembe. He jumps, though. Yes, sir. Dikembe, go to the rim. Lay it in. Beautiful. There we go. He's got all nine. He's playing good so far. We just got to get a stop. Uh, Good D. I tried to bait uh, Scotty. I tried to bait Scotty. Good D, though. Dikembe, yes, sir. Throw it ahead. Chris Mullen, catch and shoot. We will take the assist. Look at Dikembe playing that lane. At 7-2, he's able to play lanes at a very high level. And Mullen, unfortunately, is apparently not able to play lanes at a high level. I just, I don't know what I'm seeing right now. And we get crabbed the whole possession. Like, this is so sloppy, Brad. But you know what? It is what it is. Run the floor, Dikembe. All the way to the rim. Dunk it home again. It's too easy for him. He's just too big. I'm liking this card a lot. Oh my gosh, look at Dikembe with the block, and it gives him rim takeover. Stop it on the break and greening. Oh my lord, you're a dog, Dikembe. That is a heck of a play right there. Getting the block, getting himself rim take, and then dribbling up the court and stopping on the break for a three. Did not see that coming out of you, Dikembe. That is great, great defense by you. Turned into a great offensive possession as well. Get through the screen beautifully. You shouldn't have shot that. And Dikembe snagging the board. You know at 7-2, he's snagging every board. We're hitting our corner, and we're greening the lightly. Yes, sir, Chris Mullen is a dog, and we are up to 18 uh, six point lead at 18 to 12 one more stop here good d good d yep good defense yes sir good d i dare you to test me that's oh, i got i didn't get enough of a contest you know what we'll live with it though we're gonna come down we're either gonna hit, our, hit a dagger with mullen real quick or we're gonna see if we can get another catch and shoot three-point opportunity with mullen either way though we're getting a bucket this possession that's gonna be that um you know what i think i might just get the bucket with mullen i don't know kind of struggling with my movement actually um not gonna lie you know what? Dikembe, catch and shoot. That was a sloppy possession, but we'll take it. Green's another three. His release is nice and smooth. Really easy to green. Uh, and yeah, we, Dikembe we finishes with 17 points, three rebounds, two assists, a steal, a block, seven of eight, three of three. That's how you fill up a stat sheet. Dikembe hoop. Let's hop back into the main menu and let's view the card. All right. In conclusion, I do think Dikembe is one of the best centers in the game. I don't think he's as good as your Kareem's or your artists because those guys have better steal ratings, uh, slightly better ball handle ratings, and have a slightly quicker jumper as well. So those three things are the reason that I can't say Dikembe is a top two center in the game. But that being said, with his elite size, elite defense, solid enough jump shot, uh, really great mashing ability, all that stuff, I do think you could make an argument he's the third best center in the game. He definitely is one of the best centers in the game. And if you don't have the MT to lock in for your Kareem's and your or your artists, but you are have grinded the game a lot this year and have a lot of tokens, 
I do think Dikembe Mutombo is a great option to pick up and play at one of your two center spots because he's going to be that elite option on both ends of the court. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.